The situation, as you know, is evolving very, very quickly, and doubly choice. Uh, we are following with great concern the, the situation over there and what that c can represent in terms of affecting human health. Uh, the measures that have been taken until now, according with existing data and according with the present, the current situation, are uh, those that uh, the public health, international public health community will endorse and, and recommend, which means that evacuating people from the most contaminated area as a precautionary measure and as a preventive measure, and then proposing that people living around a radius of uh, 30 kilometers, they should stay indoors. This is in order to avoid exposure to uh, breathing uh, uh, particles, uh, radioactive particles in the, in the air. Uh, in addition to that, we know that the Japanese authorities are prepositioning uh, potassium iodide in case this needs to be distributed to the population. And I take advantage of that to say that potassium iodide has to be uh, uh, consumed only if recommended by the authorities. And additional measures might need to be taken depending on how everything will evolve. We all hope for the best, but we need to be prepared as well. WHO is working with uh, our partners and uh, we have a big network of collaborating centers with experts from all around the world. The good news here is that there is a lot of experience on the preparedness plans and the manuals describing the measures that need to be taken.